Today I will demonstrate how to take radial pulse in a patient according to the traditional medical teaching. Now before you start your examination on the patient, first you should ensure that your hands are 100% clean. Followed by that you need to introduce yourself to the patient and to the parents, uh, take their introduction as well, explain the procedure, what you are going to do on the patient and take their consent. I have done all of those things, so I am going to start my examination on the patient. I am going to check his radial pulse. In order to check the radial pulse of the patient, first thing is that you should stand on the right side of the patient. Now keep the patient's forearm in semi-prone position and wrist partially flexed like this. Use tips of your index, middle and ring finger. Radial pulse is palpated by gentle pressure of the artery against the distal end of radius using tips of these three fingers. Note the rate and rhythm. If the rhythm is regular, you can count for 30 seconds and then multiply it by 2 or you can count for 15 seconds and multiply by 4 for determining the pulse rate. Volume and character should also be evaluated. Although character and volume are best assessed at carotid or brachial artery. By convention, we use our right hand to check the right radial pulse of the patient. Next, we have to check for radio-radial and radio-femoral symmetry. For checking radio-radial symmetry, you can either cross your hands like this or you can cross the patient's hand like this and feel for the radial pulse simultaneously on both the sides. Although some standard textbooks don't mention about crossing the hands, but the basic idea is that we have to feel for both the radial pulses simultaneously. Now we are going to check for radio femoral delay. For that we need to locate the femoral pulse. Femoral pulse can be palpated midway between anterior superior iliac spine and pubic symphysis. We should palpate it with our index and middle fingers and simultaneously palpate the radial artery and check for any delay. We find radio femoral delay in coarctation of aorta. In old patients, we should also check the condition of the arterial wall. Now I'm going to check water hammer pulse in this patient. Now, first you need to grasp the wrist of the patient's hand so that your base of fingers are over the patient's radial artery. Like this. And rest of your palm is enclosing the patient's forearm just like this. The idea is that radial pulse should barely be palpable. Now you have to raise the patient's forearm suddenly like this above the level of the heart and feel for the pulse which would be readily palpable now if it is collapsing in nature. Before doing this procedure, we should always ensure that patient is not having any pain in his shoulders. Some examiners also use another technique to check the water hammer pulse. In this method, you have to hold the wrist of the patient with one hand just as described before and you have to use the palm of your other hand to hold the forearm of the patient like this. And then you have to suddenly raise the patient's forearm above the level of his heart and feel for the pulsations in the forearm of the patient which could now be felt very well if the patient's pulse is collapsing in nature. Collapsing pulse is basically a physical finding that describes a forceful pulsation with a rapid upstroke and descent. When the patient's forearm is lifted above the level of the heart, the pulsations become more readily palpable if they are collapsing in nature. I hope this was informative. Thank you.